Are you one of those people who only calls out the name of God when you're in trouble, when you're facing a monumental problem? Are you one of those people that you just wait until things look impossible before you even think of calling out on the name of God? I'm here to tell you today that you need to be calling on the name of God, not just in the bad times. But no, my friend, I'm going to make the case today why you definitely need to be calling out the name of God even when things are going good. Stay tuned for today's edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. Well, I know the answer for you. And it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope. And welcome to Live Fair. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me today as we're going to talk about something that most of you probably maybe never even thought about. But when is it in your life that you really call out for God? Now, I know there's a lot of people that they wait until those problems start mounting one upon another before they go to God. But I'm going to make the case for you today why you should call out the name of God on the mountaintop just as often as you call out on the name of God when you're in that valley. So I promise you this is going to be a program that may even transform the way you think of God and definitely the way you pray to God. Again, I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com, the world's largest interactive Christian website. We reach a little over 2.4 million people every day via the Internet, and I'm so glad that you've tuned in today because not only do we have a great program for you, but many of you have never been to our website. We literally have impacted tens of millions of lives over 11-plus years on the Internet. And if you've never been to our site, please go check it out. Even if you've been there, Check it out anyway, because we have such unique content. Unlike anything else on the Internet, much of it changes every day. Every morning for 11 years, I write a daily devotional. That's posted on the website and is also sent out to an email database of over 2.4 million folks around the world every morning. Sign up to get on that database so you can get that in your email every morning. I guarantee it's a great way to start the day. Lots of unique videos, audios of appearances with Howard Stern, Bubba the Love Sponge, just a lot of very interesting content that I believe is not going to be very informative, but Live Prayer has been described by many as an oasis of hope on the Internet, a place to come in those times of trouble to find strength, help, and answers in your time of need. So please check us out. I am really starting to get excited as the months are unfolding now. We started our 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero back in September. We're finishing up our second full month of services. We've got two months to go. I'm literally flying to New York every weekend, preaching at the New York Marriott every Sunday at 11 a.m. That's half a block from ground zero. And we will be doing that through the end of the year. The day after Christmas, Sunday, December 26th, is our last meeting at the Marriott. And then we move into our permanent home, which we will be announcing next week. That's going to be the permanent location for the 9-11 Christian Center. And we are really excited, excited about what God is doing and the opportunity we're going to have to impact not only the great city of New York, but I believe the nation from that, from that hallowed ground where those brave people died on that fateful day a little over nine years ago. So be in prayer for that. As a matter of fact, I've got a special video presentation we put together. It's very short, but I want you to watch it because it really lays out the vision of what we're doing at the 9-11 Christian Center. I want you to catch that vision with me. So watch it, and I'll be right back. I'm Bill Keller, founder of LivePrayer.com. Recently, it was publicized that the Muslims would be building a mosque at Ground Zero. Let me make sure you understand that this was a purposeful and premeditated act. This is not an accident. They already have 
many mosques in New York City. This was done in a very well orchestrated way. This mosque at Ground Zero will be a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years, 9-11-2001, when their Muslim brothers flew those planes into the World Trade Center towers. More of their Muslim brothers went into the Pentagon. Others headed to the Capitol were courageously ditched in the fields in Pennsylvania. But make no mistake about it, this mosque at Ground Zero is a memorial to the greatest triumph of Islam in 1400 years. It will be a place where they will teach this generation, future generation of Muslims, how to hate this nation, how to turn this nation into a Muslim land, which is their ultimate goal. They will teach people Sharia law, the law that Islam is governed by all over the world. What is our response as Christians? I thought and prayed hard about this. I decided that why hold another rally, another protest march, that a few hours after it over, it was over, everybody would go home and forget about it. Nothing would change. I realize there are many great efforts to try to stop this mosque from being constructed. And while I pray they're effective, and while I pray that they will be successful, in my heart of hearts, I know that the Muslims, with their massive amounts of money, will be ultimately victorious. This mosque will be built. We don't need another protest. What we need is a bold, visible response what the Muslims are about ready to do at Ground Zero. That response is the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. We aren't going there with swords. We're going there with the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is like Elijah on that wonderful day where he invited the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel and said, let's see whose God answers by fire. Today I issue that same challenge to Imam Faisal Raul, the imam of the Ground Zero Mosque. You bring your false god, I'll bring the god of the Bible, and we will see which god answers by fire. Phase one, we will hold services every Sunday, starting September 5th at 11 o'clock through the end of the year at the New York Marriott, right by Ground Zero. As of January 1st, we'll move into our permanent facility at Ground Zero, where we will hold evangelistic meetings seven days a week. We will have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room for visitors to Ground Zero and those who work in the financial district, those who live in, in that area to come and pray. I know that as time goes on, the Muslims will try to silence me. They will try even to kill me. But the gospel won't be stopped. And I need you to help me. I need you to stand with me. Many people are outraged by what is about ready to happen at Ground Zero. And people say, how can my voice be heard? You can stand with me and the 9-11 Christian Center. Go to my website, liveprayer.com. On the left menu bar, click on the donation link. There is a secure server there where you can give via a major credit card, you can give via PayPal, or you can just drop a check to our corporate headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. You can take a stand against this mosque, a meaningful stand, a stand that not only is going, to, is going to drown out the lies of Islam, but it's going to lead souls to faith in Jesus Christ. I believe it's going to spark a revival in the city of New York, and I believe it's going to turn this nation back to God and His truth. Please, stand with me today. Your voice can be heard. You can make a difference. The 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero is the answer to this mosque and for this nation. I'm Bill Kelly. That's the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. Please be praying. If you get to New York one of these Sundays before the end of the year, come join us for our service at the New York Marriott at 11 a.m. And also be praying about how God may be using you to help me in this great outreach. All right, we've got our first commercial break coming up when we come back from this important message. 
I'm going to share something with you that I believe is going to transform the prayer lives of many of you watching today. It's a message you don't want to miss. Stay tuned. I'm Bill Keller of Live Prayer, and I need your help. God has challenged me to open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. This is a response to the new mosque that's being built within a block of the the World Trade Center towers used to stand. The Muslims are spending $110 million to build this mosque. God said to me to go put a Christian Center in a block of ground zero, and that's what we're doing. We're going to open the center on Sunday, September 5th. I'll be flying personally to New York to hold those services every Sunday till the end of the year. And then starting January 1st, the center will literally be open 24-7. We'll hold evangelistic services there every day. We'll have a special 9-11 memorial prayer room so that those who come to New York City to visit that hallowed ground will have a place to come and meditate, pray, just spend some quiet time. This is a great undertaking. I can't do this alone. I need your help. To give a gift to the 9-11 Christian Center, you can go to liveprayer.com. Click on the donation link on the left menu bar. There you will find a secure server so you can make a gift with your major credit card or you can give via PayPal. Or if you want to just drop a check to us, that's great. You can send that to our headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. That address is on your screen. In the information line of your check, just put 9-11 Christian Center, and your gift will go to this great undertaking. Islam is a 1,400-year-old lie from hell. The audacity of the Muslims to build a center in the shadows of the, where the trade center towers that their Muslim brothers knocked down, killing 3,000 innocent people, is a travesty. People are upset. I'm upset, but we're taking action. Sunday, September 5th, we will put our faith to the test as we open the 9-11 Christian Center at Ground Zero. I need your help. I need your prayers. I need your support. Thank you. God bless you. And welcome back to Live Prayer. You know, human nature being what it is, most people wait until they get into those difficult situations in life before they really call out the name of God. Some people may not pray for months at a time, but all of a sudden, somebody you love is ill, you lose your job, Don't know how you're going to pay the bills next month. Something goes on in your life that causes you to realize that you can't do this alone. You need divine intervention, divine help. And I hate to say it, but even amongst most Bible-believing Christians, they wait until the waters are... Are, 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 are rough and the seas are, are, are tossing and the rains are coming. They wait until those bad places of life that unfortunately we all visit from time.